Hello everyone, welcome back to Angular JS tutorial series part 21. My name is Nisha Singla and in this video we are going to discuss about single page application in Angular JS. Single page application also called SPA. It is a web application that fits on single page. All your code like JavaScript, HTML, CSS is retrieved with a single page load and the navigation between the pages performed without refreshing the whole page. So to understand in a proper manner, let's take an example. I have a dummy example here that index.html is my main page. So this is my shell page that for the very first request, this main page is going to be loaded. And depending on the type of request, only a part of the page is going to be changed. And this request will not reload my page, it will not refresh the page. So when I click on about link, you will notice only a part of the URL is going to be changed. But rest of the URL is same. So here about is my route and depending on the route my content is going to be changed. So this type of application is called single page application. So in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can create single page application using routing in AngularJS. So to implement the same flip to your editor and for this demo I have this part 21 folder where I have one index.html file and one script folder in which I have my angular.min.js and one another library that is angular-route.min.js. This library is required to implement routing. So to download this, you need to go to the official site of AngularJS and you can download this routing file from there. After downloading these two files, you need to refer these two scripts in your index page. So first you need to refer your angular.min.js. So the path would be your scripts folder and angular.min.js. And after the angular.min.js, you can refer your angular-route.min.js. So same way you need to link your Angular with the ng bootstrap process. So for that you will use ng app directly. And I will I will create one main module over here with the name main app. So when you want to implement routing, you should have one main folder in your project where you will implement all your Angular functionality. So in this part 20 folder, I am going to create one folder app. And in this app folder, I will create my one file where I will define all my routing and module. So I'm going to give this name app.js. And for different kind of route, I will have different controller and different view. So all my controllers will come from the controller folder, controllers folder. And all my views are going to come from views folder. So now in app.js, all you need to do is just create the main module with the name of and with the help of angular.module method that we have already discussed in the previous video. But now your main module is dependent on an, another module that is your routing module. So this routing library I have already included in the index.html file and this library is going to give you one module that is called ng-route. So this module you need to inject in your main module as in dependency. So now this app variable also have an axis of routing. So now we are going to create routing. But before that, you have to link this file with index.html. So here, I'm going to give the path of this app.js that is in the app folder, app.js. Here it would be forward slash. Now we can create the routing. So now to create routing on the module object, you have one method that is called config. So on this app object, I'm going to call this config method that will take one enormous function as a callback. Now to implement routing, there is one service that is called route provider and that route provider service is inside this module. So after injecting this module, you will get access of that service that is your route provider. Now on this route provider service, you need to call a method that is called when. So I will say route provider dot when and this when is going to take two parameters. The first one is the name of your route. And the second one is an object vector that will decide that for this particular route, which controller you're going to invoke and which view you are going to be called. So first I'm going to make root route and it will take second parameter as an object. It will take two key right now that first which partial view you want to call whenever this route is going to be invoked. So to denote the view part, you have to use one property that is called template URL. And here you have to mention the path of your view file 
with respect to index.html. So all my views are going to contain in the views folder. So as of now, I'm just giving a path app views and later on I will create some file over there with the name home.html. So after this, you need to decide like when this page is going to be load from where it will get the data. So for that, you have second key here controller and I'm going to create one controller with the name home controller. So in the same manner, you need to create your different route and that you can create by copying the same thing and you can call when method again. Now second route I want to create for about and same it will take second parameter as an object and template URL is a path for your partial views that will be in the app views and about.html and controller that I am going to invoke that would be about controller. And the same I will make for contact route. Template URL for this contact route. And the respective controller that would be contact controller. Now to handle the invalid route, either you can redirect all the invalid requests to the root route, and you can display a dedicated page for all the invalid requests. But right now, I'm just giving redirect path that whenever invalid request is going to be happen, I want to redirect my all request to the root route. So for that, there is one more method here that is called otherwise. And this otherwise will directly take an object. And to implement redirect, there is a key here that is called redirect to. And it will ask you for which route you want to redirect. So I want to redirect to the root route whenever something goes wrong. So this is a comping method where you have to write your routing with the help of route provider service. Now these views are not valid. So first of all, we need to create these views. So move to the views folder and here I'm going to create home.html file, about.html and the last one would be contact.html. But right now I don't have any data for this page. So data is going to be come from the corresponding controller file. So in the controller folder, I'm going to create three controller and give it a name of home.js, about.js and the last one would be contact.js. Now in my previous videos, I have already mentioned how to create controller. So all you need to do just need to create your controller. But remember, Whatever name you have given here, with the same name you need to create your controller here. The rest of the syntax will be same to create the controller. So I will inject the scope service here. And as of now, I will bind only a single property on this scope object that would be title. So I'm giving this is home page. And the same code you're going to repeat for about. So I'm copying it from home.js and pasting it here. Just I need to change the controller name to about controller and title I am changing to about and same thing I will repeat for the contact.js file and the controller name would be contact.controller contact controller and the title would be contact page so this is I am done with the controller but con uh, controller is a js file so this js file you have to link in the index.html so same thing I am going to repeat here I will say pip src all my controllers are in the app folder, controllers folder, and home.js. This is for about and contact. Just change the name from home to about in here, contact. So I have also referred my JS file. Now this title property that I have defined here, I need to bind on my HTML page. So in my previous demo, I told you whenever you want to refer any controller, you have to use ng controller directory. But in this case, you don't need to use any, any ng controller because in my routing, I'm telling it that for home.html, this controller I'm going to call. So you don't need to use any ng controller directly here. So directly you can call here and bind the title property here. And just for some random text, I'm saying here, welcome to home page. So same code you can repeat for about.html. and contact.html so my partial pages are also ready now move to index.html file 
that this is my complete body type so may maybe i have a different layout on my index.html as of now suppose i have one div that will hold my complete layout with a container class this container class is coming from bootstrap library so that i have already included it after that maybe i have one row as of now it is only having a heading you can design your main page according to your wish after this maybe here i will create one navigation because if you want to move to different pages you need a navigation through which user can easily move from one page to another page so obviously we have to create navigation here so here i will use bootstrap class nav to give it little bit look and feel as a navigation and right now i will have three links that will help me to redirect from home to about and contact pages so i will create three links uh, for home about and contact now in href you need to mention the name of your route so if you remember here i have three routes forward slash for home page about for about contact for contact page so here angular js have hash based routing so you have to prefix your route name with hash so home page route will become hash forward slash for about hash forward slash about and for contact hash contact so my routing navigation is also done but how my index.html is going to be decide that in which area i need to load the data that will come from home.html about.html or contact.html so to define that area that will change at run time angular has given one directive that is called ng view so wherever in the index.html my angular will find ng view so it will replace that directive with the content that is coming from the partial request so maybe after this i have one div with row and i want all my partial pages are going to be loaded inside this div so you can use one directive that is called ng view this is a built in directive in angular js decide all the partial pages and after this maybe i have footer that will also be same for all type of request so almost we have done everything just for a recap first thing you have to include your angular routing script file here after the angular file second step you need to inject that module here in the as a dependency on your main module and then you can use config method to configure your routing with the help of route provider service that will give you a when method and it will take two parameter the name of the route and second parameter object that will contain the path of your html file and the controller after this you just need to create the corresponding controller and the partial views and then you just need to create the navigation so that you can navigate from multiple request and to define the area where you can load all your partial request you need to call ng view so now save the changes and run your project through server so you will notice for the first request that is forward slash my home page and welcome to home page is coming so when you change the url or when you click on a different navigation you will see that my complete url is going to be same only the end of the route is going to be changed so when i click on about only that route is changed and on the basis of that my complete page is same only this area is going to be changed and same for contact so this is a very simple example to demonstrate how single page application works in angular js with the help of routing i hope you like this video if you like it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you in the next video till then take care and keep learning